Hello, tonight I'll show you um, how to use the technique of Lagrange multiplier to solve a pretty tricky problem in multivariable calculus. So here's the problem. Given a unit sphere in uh, space R3 of equation x squared plus y squared plus z squared equal to 1, so clearly this sphere here is centered at the origin of the space and has radius 1 and the plane P of equation Z equal to 4 minus X minus Y. We want to find the coordinate of P and Q such that P belong to the sphere and Q belong to the plane such that the distance between P and Q is equal to the minimum of the distance between A and B such that A is any point on the sphere and B is any point on the plane. So here is a picture. If you have your unit sphere here we want to find P here and Q such that P and Q realize the minimum distance uh, in between these two objects. <coughs> so, this is how we get started. We have to set up an equation first. The first thing we have to realize is what we want to minimize. We want to minimize the function f, x, y, z capital X, capital Y, capital Z, which is equal to um, X minus capital X square plus Y minus capital Y square plus Z minus capital Z square. Really, we need to have a square root here, but that's really uh, not necessary. We can, by minimizing the square, we should minimize the distance in between those two points. X, Y, Z represent the points. X, Y, Z represent the coordinate of the points on the sphere and capital X, capital Y, and capital Z represent the coordinate of the points on, on the plane. So, the first thing that we need to do is first, so this, is, this here is a function of six variable. We have to write the gradient of F. It has to be you take the partial of this function with respect to x, what it is that um, what it is that we get. So we get f sub x, f sub y, f sub z, f of partial of f respect to x, capital X partial of f respect to capital Y, and partial of f respect to capital Z. Now. We have to compute this. Uh, first, let's let us look at uh, if you just take, for example, x minus x square. You expand this, we get x square minus two x capital x plus capital x square. If we take the partial respect to that, well, we get so we can we can you can clearly see here that the partial respect to x will be. 2x minus 2 capital X. So the partial of f will be then we'll have 2x minus 2x and then we take the partial respect to y we should get 2y minus 2 capital Y and then we take the partial respect to um, little z we should get 2z minus 2 capital Z. Now, what if we take the, uh, the partial respect to capital X, this will vanish, and then we obtain here negative 2x plus 2 capital X. And then we'll obtain here negative 2 little y plus 2 capital Y. And then if we take the partial of f respect to capital Z, we should get uh, negative 2z plus 2 capital Z. So this is the gradient vector of uh, this function. Now we need to write our constraints. What are the constraints? The first constraint g of 1, which is a function of little x, little y, little z, and capital X, capital Y, and capital Z is obtained by taking the equation of the sphere minus 1. 
so we get x square plus y square plus z square minus 1 and then we have the second constraint g2 which which is an equation which is a function of x y z capital x capital y capital z it's obtained by taking the equation of uh, of the plane which is 4 minus x minus y so we should obtain z plus x plus y minus 4 okay and we'll set all of these to be equal to 0 and this to be equal to 0 so according to the theory of Lagrange multiplier we need to compute the gradient of g1 so we should get here a little 2x 2y 2z and because this is free from capital X capital Y capital Z you should get 0 0 and 0 here and then the gradient vector of g2 will be 0 0 0 this is really capital Z capital X and capital Y so we take the partial respect to capital X here, we should get 1. The partial respect to capital Y, we should get 1. The partial respect to capital Z, we should get 1. Now, next, we have the following. We have the equation, the gradient of F must be equal to the linear combination of this two gradient will be lambda gradient del of g plus mu del g1 plus mu del of g2 and we solve we set the following system We start with the following system. We must solve the following system of equation. Del of F must be equal to lambda del of G1 plus mu del of G2 with the constraint G1 X Y Z capital X capital Y capital Z is equal to zero and g2 x y z capital x capital y capital z is equal to zero so what is what is what is the equation that we obtain well we obtain the following system of equation this is capital this is um so we so this is del of f so we obtain here 2x minus 2 capital x E is equal to lambda time 2x plus mu time 0. And then for the second component, you have 2y minus 2 capital Y is equal to lambda time 2y plus mu time 0. For the third component, we have 2z minus 2 capital Z is equal to lambda times 2z plus mu times 0. Fourth component, we have negative 2x plus 2 capital X is equal to lambda times 0 plus... Uh, lambda times 0 plus mu here and then for this component we have negative 2y plus 2 capital Y is equal to lambda times 0 plus mu 
And then, lastly, we have negative 2z plus 2 capital Z is equal to lambda times 0 plus mu. And then we have the, this equation G1, which is x squared plus y squared plus z squared minus 1 is equal to 0. And the second equation is capital Z plus capital Y plus capital X minus 4 is equal to 0. So this is a system of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 equations. And we solve this. We solve this for X, Y, Z, capital X, capital Y, capital Z, lambda, and mu. This is a really nasty system of equation, non-linear system of equation. So I will not waste your time by solving this by hand. If we use Mathematica to solve, we obtain the coordinates of the points P belonging to the sphere to be uh, P is of coordinate 1 over square root of 3, 1 over square root of 3, and 1 over square root of 3. And for Q belonging to the plane, the point of uh, the coordinate of Q are 4 over 3, 4 over 3, and 4 over 3. So these two points will realize the minimum distance in between the two solids. And I'll show you. I tend to plot um, using Mathematica. You can see clearly here that if if this is the sphere, this is the sphere, and this is the plane, this is the point, the, the red dot here is the point of coordinate 1 over square root of 3, 1 over square root of 3, 1 over square root of 3, and the green dot here is the point of coordinates uh, 4 over 3, 4 over 3, and 4 over 3, and clearly, geometrically, you can see that it's minimizing the distance between all of, between these two objects. So this is how one uses Lagrange multiplier on a function of six variable to solve such tricky problem. Thank you.